what's up guys it's your girl ad here and i'm back into the girl once again guys with another video of vlogmas here and as you guys can see by today's title today i'm going to be doing a cooking video now i haven't done one of these in a while it's been a minute honestly i can't lie it's literally been since quarantine the first one and i can't lie i'm scared okay because if you guys know me i don't cook okay i don't cook i don't really know how to cook like i can cook chicken pasta and make pizza and stuff but i don't really know how to stand there for hours on end and cook food which is embarrassing because i'm 16 um and i'm african the fact my mom is basically a chef <laughs> and so is every other woman in my family but me personally i can't do it so today this is what i'm gonna do so obviously you guys know i don't have long intro so without further ado let's get straight on to the video <laughs> right so quick a backstory before we actually get sh physically straight onto the video i was watching a video from the web brothers if you know if you don't know who the web brothers are they're basically these two brothers who are absolutely amazing okay they're so funny and the older brother harrison is an amazing chef okay he can cook pretty much any meal i'm pretty sure and i was on their channel i was just scrolling through and i came across this video that they uploaded in quarantine where they made fettuccine alfredo i'm pretty sure that's what they made what's the what they made and i have the video right here on my ipad um and i'm literally just gonna go ahead and follow this tutorial so when i watched this video like a week ago or two weeks ago i was like i'm going to make this because it's so funny and it has corey and jc in it r.i.p corey lebrera let's not get into it because honestly i still haven't heard so much i have to come by it before i start boiling my eyes out but it's with him and jc kaylin and it's an amazing video <laughs> and quite frankly the food that was made looked absolutely amazing so i decided to go ahead and put my twist on it which is exactly what i'm going to be doing today and i'm going to be following the tutorial and i'm going to be following the tutorial on my ipad so now without further ado basically again let's get into the video you guys watched that video you guys will know that they already pre-prepared like the ingredients so i try to do the same thing so here i have he in the video it says use one stick of butter now they look it looked like they used a whole block but i measured it and one stick of butter is equivalent to 120 grams i think so that's how much butter i have here then here i have all my meat and stuff that i'm going to put inside here i have tagatelli now they use fettuccine and i didn't want to use that so i'm using tagatelli so technically it's not fettuccine alfredo I'm, i can't even call it fettuccine alfredo because it's not because i'm using tagatelli but you get the point i have double cream here and then i have parmesan cheese great this is the cheese that they used in the video. not the same brand but they use parmesan cheese so i bought parmesan cheese and of course garlic so yeah i'm pretty sure that's everything i need i have my pan over there ready to fry everything up and i'm pretty sure i need another one for the sauce but for now these are my ingredients that i'm going to use okay, guys, so in the video the first thing that they did was mince the garlic and they just used one clove i'm just gonna go ahead and cut this up because that's what they told me to do guys i genuinely think there's something wrong with my garlic it looks like an apricot okay guys so this is my one clove of garlic and now i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next step which i'm pretty sure is butter in the pan with the uh with the butter okay oh, shit. yeah 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 Okay, guys, apparently I was supposed to do butter first, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Just like that. Okay, guys, so I don't know if you guys can actually hear me properly because the kettle is boiling. I don't know why it's flipping like that. It's not flipping like that anymore. Okay, I've got my butter with my garlic inside. And then I'm boiling this right here for my pasta, which I've got a pot and put it there. And then... Yeah, so when the water is finished boiling, I will come back and show you what that looks like. Okay guys, so the butter like was almost finished on it, so I went ahead and poured in the cream. So now in here, I have butter, cream and garlic. And then in here, I have my pasta, my tagatelli with salt. And it's boiling on the water, which I already pre-boiled. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour in some pepper. Mm, 
put some more pepper. So yeah, I just eyeball it when it comes to stuff like that. I just poured in some pepper, added my cream to my sauce, and now I'm gonna go ahead and see what the next step is. This is beginning to boil, so I need to turn that right down. Oh, this is not supposed to be boiling at all. So that was way too hot, clearly. But yeah. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna slowly add my parmesan cheese. That's what they told me to do. So slowly add in parmesan cheese. Wee! Oh! Oh god. Mix. I just realized something. Um there's makeup on my Christmas hat. Anyways. So I just realized something. The Web Brothers and Jason Curry didn't put any meat or anything inside it. So all this time, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to put this into the sauce, but I didn't because they didn't. But they didn't have any to put inside. So now, I don't know what to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and warm this because everything in here is already cooked, but a lot of it is frozen. So I'm going to go ahead and warm this for like three minutes and then I'm going to pour it into here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't know if that's right, but that's what I'm doing. So, put that in there. I put it in there for five minutes. I don't know if that's too much, but yeah. Now I'm gonna make my pasta, and their pasta's cooked, but then again, they've been editing, and I don't know how long it's actually been cooking for. So, I'm gonna try the pasta test, which I'm pretty sure is not gonna work because this is not very soft, but. I'm gonna try anyways. So if you throw it at the wall, you guys did not see that, but it fell straight. Down here, and there's hair on it. So Clearly my pasta's not ready. I'm trying to get it to okay, it's, it's not it's not sticking. So pasta's not ready yet, but yeah, pasta's simply just not ready. Um and then when pasta's ready, I mean if it's soft enough honestly, then I'll take it out. But this pasta's quite hard. So I'm gonna leave it and it's definitely burnt at the bottom because why does it feel like plastic is stuck on the bottom of the pan? But we're not gonna talk about that. So yeah, this thing is still warming. It's still got a minute to go, so I'll be back when it's done and I'm pouring it into the sauce, which looks curdled to be honest. So if you see what's actually going on. So here we are. This is the sauce. What the pasta looks like. This rest stuff is literally just um pepper. So yeah, I want to go ahead and season this a bit more because again, they didn't season the pasta that much, but I don't think you really need to because of how tasteful this is but i'm still gonna go ahead and season it a little bit more this has two seconds left there we go and then i will be back because this doesn't look like it's gonna be very tasty the sauce will add that flavor oh my gosh why is it doing this and now i'm adding in my my meats i don't know how i'm supposed to put my meats in here or in here but i put them in the sauce so let's hope that's not the wrong thing to do i'm trying to do the test um of you know to see if it's ready or not but i washed it before i don't know if that makes a difference only because it's too hot for me to hold it in my hand so i've got this small one and i'm gonna chuck it and see if it sticks ah it's not sticking tasting the pasta pasta's chewy okay pasta's definitely not ready like not even a little bit i definitely need to add more salt though because what chewy 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 this cheese sauce is boiling i'm gonna turn it off actually because i don't want it to burn i'm pretty sure it's already burnt but yeah i also want to apologize for the bad angle this whole time i literally just realized that if i film like this you can see what i'm doing and see me at the same time so apologies for that but from now on i'll keep the camera angle like this it's a little bit hard guys this tagatelle is taking a long time to cook i personally like my pasta quite soft i have to wait
it's not soft enough i like it to be super 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 soft like noodle like indomie literally like indomie if it's not like that then i don't want it okay guys so i'm back i think the pasta is ready now so i'm going to drain it mom how do i play this what's all that thing pepper you put pepper in it yeah why i don't want it to have flavor Put it back in. There's too much water. Mm, this is cheese. Don't touch anything, please. Okay, guys, it's done. So, this is what it looks like. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. Okay, guys, so this is the final result. Okay guys, I didn't actually film the outro. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It's editing and rumbly here. I'm back once again as I am in all these videos. I always forget to film outros. Um, so sorry about that. You're gonna have to get your outro in a voiceover. In this clip, I was basically just showing you the pasta and telling you guys what I actually put inside it. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and tell me down below about how you felt about it. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, nice comment. And yeah, I will see you in my next video of Vlogmas, which will be coming soon. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Peace.